Today, Metro Manila and other parts of Luzon have seemingly had an improved weather condition after several days of experiencing rains. Starting this morning, the sun rises southerly after yesterday's autumnal equinox, where the sun rises directly east and sets directly west. I will tell you more about it after giving you our weather forecast for tomorrow, Wednesday, September 25. As we can see from our satellite image, as of today, there is no low-pressure area or any tropical storm or cyclone existing within the Philippine area of responsibility as the southwest monsoon continues to affect central and southern Luzon and the Visayas. As enhanced by Tropical Storm Pabuk outside the Philippine area of responsibility. Tomorrow, Mimaropa and the Western Visayas will experience cloudy skies with moderate, occasionally heavy rains and thunderstorms, which may trigger flash floods and landslides. While for Metro Manila, Central Luzon, Calabarzon, and the Bicol region, and the rest of the Visayas will have cloudy skies with light to moderate rain showers and thunderstorms and for the rest of the country will be partly cloudy to cloudy with some isolated rain showers or thunderstorms. Moderate to strong winds blowing from the southwest to west will prevail over central and southern Luzon and the coastal waters along these areas will be moderate to rough. Much of the southwest monsoon is expected to affect the western seaboards of central and southern Luzon. That is why Pagasa issued the gale warning. Affected areas are the Sambales, Bataan, Metro Manila, Cavite, Mindoro, Occidental, and the western coast of Batangas and Palawan. Strong to gale force winds associated with the surge of southwest monsoon will make the sea conditions on these areas to be rough to very rough with 3.4 to 4.5 meter high waves. Fishing boats and other small sea crafts are advised not to venture out into the sea while larger sea vessels are alerted against big waves. And here is our three-day extended weather outlook. For Metro Manila, expect cloudy skies with some rain showers or thunderstorms over the next three days with an average temperatures of 23 to 29 degrees Celsius. Over Metro Cebu, expect cloudy skies with rain showers or thunderstorms tomorrow and partly cloudy to cloudy skies with isolated rain showers and thunderstorms by Thursday and again cloudy skies with rain showers and thunderstorms by Friday with temperatures of 25 to 31 degrees Celsius. And for Metro Davao, it's partly cloudy to cloudy skies with isolated rain showers and thunderstorms all the way until Friday with temperatures of 24 to 34 degrees Celsius. Daytime now is only five minutes longer as nighttime. A sunrise tomorrow will be at 5.45 in the morning and sunset will be at 10 minutes before 6 in the evening. Speaking of sunrise, yesterday, September 23 was the autumnal equinox when anywhere on earth the sun was seen rising directly east and sets directly west. As we mentioned earlier, starting September 24, that is today until December 21 or the winter solstice, the sun will rise southerly and again slowly back to direct east on March 21 for the vernal or spring equinox. I took these photos using my iPhone, the one on top was taken last June 21 during the summer solstice and the one below was taken last Saturday, September 21 or two days before the autumnal equinox. Here we can clearly see from these two photos the different positions of sunrise in a span of three months. Sunrise towards north means longer daytime while sunrise towards south means longer nighttime. And that is our weather forecast for tomorrow, Wednesday, September 25. For News Live, this is Edmond Rosales, giving you the latest weather update. Clear skies be with you always.